Hello, Collect or Wrestlepalooza viewers. I'm very troubled to have to announce that I don't think that this sale is legit. I just posted it on my newest top five video, the top five highest prices paid for Undertaker wrestling action figures. And this one came in at number one, the WWE Elite exclusive Toys R Us action figure, the 20 and 0 Undertaker, uh, which sold for $1,025. Uh, but I don't think that this sale is legit. Let me show you why. When I first posted the video, nothing looked off. I generally will post eBay auctions that have a number of unique bidders and have a large number of bids because that tends to be the types of auctions that are the most realistic uh, and generally are real prices paid because there's a lot of people that are bidding and it's not just one or two bidders. Um, I didn't look at the detail though enough of this particular one. Let's take a look together. So first of all, the winning bidder had 53 feedback, 92% positive. I did block out their name here to make this anonymous. I don't want to get anyone in trouble. This is just what I'm seeing in my opinion. It doesn't mean that any of the information that I'm presenting here uh, is necessarily the only uh, story or narrative. I, I would want you to uh, make your own research and come to your own conclusions. This is just what I think happened. So if we look at this, the bidders 53 feedback, like I said, 92% positive. Uh, they've bid on three items in the last 30 days. Um, and they've been on a, a couple of different action figure items. So this looks like a legitimate bidder. Um, and they placed five bids on this particular item. Um, I don't see any reason why this bid looks wrong. $1,025 bid. It looks like this buyer legitimately bid $1,025 for this item. However, Let's take a look at the bid history, and this is where you're going to start to see what happened. That top bidder there bid the $1,025. That's the bidder we just looked at. The bidder right before it and the two or three bids right before it was a not registered user with zero feedback. So what this means is someone put in a bid of $1,025 or just under $1,025 from a non-registered eBay account, and then someone came back in and bid more than that to take home the item. I don't know exactly how this played out. I don't know if the person who was placing the bids I uh, just saw that someone else had bid higher and bid up to be higher than that, thinking that if someone else would pay that price, I must w be willing to pay a little bit more too. Uh, but it does look suspect that most of the bids are from a non-registered user, or at least the bids that were driving up the price were from the non-registered user. And then furthermore, when I just took a look at this, you can see that the seller did relist this item. So uh, that would uh, pinpoint to me that the person who bid the $1,025 uh, did not pay for it and therefore they relisted it. And I haven't looked yet to see what they relisted it for. It's probably just another auction or uh, what it's going to sell for. This is all very new. Uh, this is all very fresh information. And again, I just wanted to post this to first of all apologize to all my viewers that I did get some bad information out there. It's never my intent, uh, but I did want to uh, rectify that and show what I think happened. So if you have comments, if you have opinions on this, certainly p please feel free to read them. I will post a card on my previous video linking to this one. So uh, you can get the whole story if you want to see that. Again, uh, happy collecting. Sorry that this happened, but this is more just a state of the uh, hobby collecting industry. It's buyer beware. Know what you're buying and uh, do your research. That's your money. You worked hard to make it and make sure someone doesn't take it from you uh, unless you know what you're doing. Uh, take care. Have a great week. This is Collector Russell Palooza.